And so this video begins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. This is my first time here at Fort Wilderness. I can't believe I've been a pass holder for all these years and I've never been to this campground. Tonight's the night. And we were instructed to park right here in this parking lot. This is the registration parking lot for the campground. It says, howdy, 30 minute check-in parking lot. But I guess we can park here since we're not like a camper or an RV. And right there is the front guard shack. That's where we checked in before we drove in. There are two security guards there waiting for you. Just so you know, you gotta have your reservation in hand or else they're not gonna let you in here. Walt Disney World horse drawn a carriage ride at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. This is our confirmation letter. This was in a package or a present that was opened by myself and Chris the girl on Christmas day, wrapped by her parents. Thank you so much, Bob and Kathy, for making this, uh, this dream come true. I've always wanted to come to Fort Wilderness and little did I know I could do so by horse and buggy. That's amazing. It's happening tonight. It sure is. Oh yeah, it is. It sure is. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J. This is Chris the girl, my lovely, beautiful fiance. And here we are back again on Walt Disney World property. I am a Walt Disney World annual pass holder but I have never been to Fort Wilderness Campground. Walt Disney World horse-drawn excursion, carriage ride at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, and there is much ahead. We're gonna document that whole thing. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. And this is called the Fort Wilderness Reception Outposts, Wilderness Homes and Campsite Accommodations. All right, we're kind of just looking into this building right here just to see what's going on. Not sure what's in here. And this is just the check-in spot for the campground. Also a couple restrooms here by the fireplace. With checkers, by the way, a little game up here. And a sign talks about a food truck roundup every Tuesday and Wednesday out here from 5.30 to 9.30. Oh, yep, look, check it out. Hidden Mickey. And just like on Main Street USA, they have a US mail letters box here we can Mail your postcards, check them out. And a souvenir coins machine right here in the lobby. Check them out. It's Monsters Inc. And outside the other door of this place, they have the golf cart rentals. This is where you would pick up your golf cart. Yeah, you can rent these. Very unique trash can for Walt Disney World property. This one looks like it should be out in North Dakota or Wyoming or something. Somewhere in bear country. Yep. Yellowstone. Yeah. You know a thing about Yellowstone or two, don't you? Be. Yeah. Not yep. sure they need bear-proof trash cans here, but... There are bear in Florida, but... This is uh, more so going towards the theming of the place. Mm, yep, I think so. There are bear in Florida, though, but they're they're not around Walt Probably Disney World, right? Disney I don't think they would allow them. No bears allowed here. Not unless they put them to work. Except like for the country, country bears. bears. Yeah, and Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh's allowed. This might be the best uh, variety of options of vending machine on Walt Disney World property I've ever seen. We've got... Haribo gummy bears, we've got Sour Patch Kids, we've got Swedish Fish, we've got peanut M&Ms, we even got beef jerky. Oh, and my favorite, Fritos, honey barbecue, oh yeah. And check this out, it is massive, the campground, oh my gosh. See, I knew it was big, but I didn't know it was this big. Where are we? All the way down right here. Right there? Yep. Wow, now we gotta go to some place called Crockett's Tavern okay. near Pioneer Hall. All the way up here. So Pioneer all the way Hall. towards the back. Okay. And we have to take a bus to Settlement Depot. We think it's one of these buses. Yeah. But first, right behind the bus stop, check it out. Tri-Circle D Ranch Trail Rides. These are the horse stables where all the horses stay. Howdy, partners! Welcome to the Trailblaze Corral. Now, a year ago, we were at the OK Corral, Chris. That's and right. And Tombstone. Yeah, from one corral to the other. That's right. There they are, munching on their dinner. I wonder if some of these horses will be pulling us around the campground tonight. Maybe. This is romantic. This should be very romantic. Yes. It's an, a romantic excursion. Horseback at Walt Disney. Whoa. Okay, that's not so Is romantic. That a horse? What was that? 
Was that really a horse? I think it was. That was horrifying. Maybe a horse stepped on a horse? Oh my gosh. Of course. <laughs> well, anyways, Very you, romantic. you look beautiful. <laughs> and Chris was pointing out to me that there used to be a railroad here, Fort Wilderness Railroad, and here's some of the pictures of what it used to look like. Check it out, you got the characters right there. Oh wow, Chip and Dale. Also, oh, is this it? Oh, our bus is here. Okay, here we go. Thanks for the ride, Pluto. Here we come, settlement. Pioneer Hall and settlement. That's where we're heading. I like the music they have in here. Me too. It's very, really setting the vibe. Yeah, very frontier now. This is stop 2400 through 2600. Servicing Settlers Bend, Cedar Circle, Moccasin Trail, and the swimming hole. Okay, that was about a 10 minute bus ride to settlement. Pioneer Hall to the right, which includes Crockett's Tavern. That's where we're supposed to check in 15 minutes before, uh, before the excursion. We're gonna explore settlement and get some food, hopefully, yeah. before we do, uh, we ride the horses. Here's the bus we just got off of, right there. All right, walking up, this is the first building we see. This is Pioneer Hall. And the Pioneer Hall hosts the Hoopty Doo Review. I hear it's a pretty good, famous uh, show here. Looks like they uh, have three shows, Wednesday through Sunday, 4, 6, 15, and 8.30. Oh, I didn't realize there was a buffet included. That's awesome. All you can eat fried chicken, pork ribs, plenty of side fixing, and Ma's famous dessert. Wet your whistle with beer, wine, and sodas, plant-based options available upon request at the Hoopty Doo Review. All right, we gotta come back now, you hear? We gotta come back. Okay, we found Crockett's Tavern. This is where we have been instructed to check in 15 minutes before our buggy ride, which will be 7.45. This is at the end of Pioneer Hall. And it is Tuesday, so it's time for some food truck roundup. They've got some food trucks out here, and also there's some photographs and some history of Pioneer Hall and how it talks about it being the epicenter of Fort Wilderness. And the food trucks down yonder. There's two food trucks out here tonight. We'll check those out in a second, but first, this will be our horse. Here it is, Chris. Yes. The horse and buggy. All right. We will be uh, we'll be doing this tonight. Hello. And in just about an hour and a half, we'll be crawling in the back of that buggy. This is pretty cool. And this must be the 630 excursion. Check it out. That's what we'll be doing. So there are four food trucks. There's this one here. And then behind me. There are three more, and they're pretty busy right now. All right, let's explore the food trucks since we're here. This one's called Apps, A-P-P apostrophe S. Oh, they have a Rapas and Salchi Papas. Oh, this looks good. Tons of uh, Colombian food. They also have empanadas, chorizo burgers, and just uh, just regular hamburgers. Ooh, the Colombian burger looks good. And this one, that looks like a big top circus. It's called Carousels. It's a dessert spot. Yes, they have several soft serves, including orange, also gelati, check it out, and good old ice cream. And this one called S-M-A-C, or smack. And here's the menu, if you like macaroni and cheese, South Carolina mac and cheese, oh, okay, I get it. Smack, that's what that acronym is. And the furthest truck that sits away that looks like an old school Winnebago that my family used to have, a little bit, check it out. Mickey on the grill. Let's see what food they have here. Fort Wilderness Fresh Fixins. They've got cheeseburgers, macaroni and cheeseburger, all beef hot dog, corn nuggets, pioneer berry salad. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. They also have sweets here too. Ice cream sandwiches and a Mickey ice cream bar. And we're gonna grab some food and we're going with apps. Right there, the Colombian food truck. Ooh. And as I was grabbing the food, Chris got some coffee. Coffee, yep. Ooh, that, that'll hit the spot right now. Yeah, it's nice. It's uh, in the 60s. Yeah, it's, it's a little chilly. Perfect. It might be a little chilly on the buggy. I think it's perfect. I like it. And here we are, Solchi Papas. We've got basically hot dogs cut up with a bunch of uh, cheese on top of french fries. Also, you got the sauces here and Chris's grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Looks amazing. I can't wait. Not bad. 27 bucks. It's a 
lot of pretty, food. It's pretty good for Disney. Yeah. That's a lot of food for Disney. Yeah. And I also got a bottle of water, which I just grabbed from the cooler right here. In front of the food truck. Apps Food Truck. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. There you go. Out of all the grilled cheeses you've had, you just told me this, by the way. <laughs> It's really good. It's, it rates, it's, it's up there. It's isn't it? up there very high, yes. <laughs> this is fantastic. Apps food truck, I recommend it. Hope to see this here again someday. Took me a second to figure out the mechanism on the trash can to open it. Put your hand in there and pull and then lift up. There we go. That'll keep the bears out. It'll Winnie the Pooh walking around here. 45 minutes until our excursion, 30 minutes until we have to check in. We're gonna walk around Fort Wilderness a little bit and show you what's going on. Also, you can get here by boat from the Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, yeah. You don't even have to have a reservation. You can just come right over and explore. And on Wednesdays and Tuesdays, you can enjoy the food trucks like we just did. Yep. And here's where you would get it off the boat or get on the boat to head to Magic Kingdom. Fort Wilderness Landing. Also, they have boat rentals out here. Here are all the boats right now. And all the pontoon boats, the boat rentals out here, stacked up. I am finding out all kinds of new things about Walt Disney World tonight. Check it out, they have a Segway tour. No experience necessary, just climb aboard the Segway right here at Wilderness. Wilderness Back Trail Adventure, that's what it's called. And before we get too much further, the excursion we're doing tonight is available to absolutely anyone who just goes to the Walt Disney World website, creates an account, and then pays for the excursion. You don't need a, to be a pass holder. You don't need to do anything, but just uh, sign up and go there and book the excursion. So you could actually do a full day at Magic Kingdom, take the boat over here, and then get some food at the food truck, and then ride the horse and buggy, just like we're doing tonight. If yeah. you want to do it that way or... Or like us. We live in Tampa. We are not staying at the Fort Wilderness we, or any Disney property right now. You have an annual pass, but I actually bought the tickets for us tonight, and I don't have an annual pass. No tickets, nothing to Disney. I live in Tampa, and I went on there, signed up, got the tickets, and we're here. So, that is to say, there you go. anybody can do it. If you want to do this do and enjoy the Disney vibe for a night, you can do it. There you go, well said. Also, I want to point out that even though you booked it, it's technically a gift from your parents. It is, yes. They just had me do it. Because <laughs> they had you book it. They didn't want to sign in to Disney. <laughs> and we, and we know, we know our own schedule, so. so. Yeah, yeah. Thank Mostly you, Bob that. and Kathy. Yes, thank you. Well, there you go, well put. Chris the girl. Here comes a boat. Yeah, boat. Caution, hot surface. Please wear footwear. Comes the boat. Fresh from the Magic Kingdom. Everyone pile out and go get some food. It's delicious. I recommend apps. And we stepped out on the beach here. They've got beach. They do. Nice little view of Bay Lake. I don't think anyone's going back. There's a, a couple people. Oh, there are a couple there. people? Okay. Hey, you could take that all the way to Magic Kingdom. Also, I want to point out, it is a gorgeous night out here. It's beautiful. There it goes. Bye. Don't hit any icebergs. Watch out for the icebergs and for the contemporary and Bay Lake Tower, which is behind those trees right there. Also, Chris the girl was doing some research. We couldn't remember how much this cost. 55 bucks. That's it. And uh, that $55 accommodates four adults or two adults and three children. Up to four people. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. And the Spanish moss welcomes us back to Fort Wilderness. I like this sign here. We never left. We just yeah. We just had to show the sign. Oh, <laughs> and now here at the settlement trading post, and I think we we hear the horse are coming. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's way out there. Do you see it? Right there. Here it comes. This is awesome. That's what we're about to do. All right, so the last group just got off of the buggy there, They're taking their photos. We're heading over here to Crockett's to check in. Davy, Davy Crockett. King of the wild frontier. Okay, I, I get the name Crockett's now. I was like, who's Crockett? That, that makes total sense. 
Here we go, Crockett's Tavern. All right, Crockett's Tavern looks pretty chill. You can also grab some brew in here, of course. It is a tavern. And here's the menu. Check it out. We've got a lot of good stuff up here. They've got chicken wings, fried green tomatoes, jalapeno poppers, and nachos just for apps. And they even have rocket chairs like good old Cracker Bear. All right, so it's a little confusing. It says to come to Crockett's Tavern to check in, but you don't actually check in at Crockett's Tavern. I think it's just trying to give you a location to check in. We're just gonna walk up to the horse. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Horse drawn carriage rides, 5:30 to 9:30. Nightly, 55 bucks. Seating capacity, four adults or two adults and three children. And check out the My Disney Experience right there. Oh look, there's a little QR code, so you can make your uh, reservation. Take a screenshot, it'll last longer. And here we are, Chris is over there checking us in. Okay, um, if you guys are ready to go, you can hop in the car. Oh, we just hop right in. Oh. Okay, here we go. This is awesome. Yeah. Ladies first. Okay. All right, into the buggy. This is so nice. And here we are in the shadows of the buggy. Now the horse's name is? Red. Red, old Red. He's a Belgium, Belgium horse. And here we go. Yeah, lift off. Yeehaw. It's nice and smooth. Yeah. You can hear the gallop of red. Alright, we're gonna get a nice little tour of Fort Wilderness. This is fun. Yeah, it's nice. And we have campsites. Almost immediately after we take the first turn. Campers over there. Campers over here. Right inside the campground. Happy New Year. That's awesome. Look at that. Nice little display there. A campsite. There's one of the cabins you can rent. That might be the way to go. There's a couple of them. That's perfect. This is cabin 120. Wow, I like the lights here. This campsite. They've got their Christmas lights out. Oh, there's little Mickeys right there. We are now on the main road. This is the road we came in on the bus. Uh-huh. It's pretty dark in here. Ooh. It's a fun spot to tell ghost stories. Can you think of any? I can't even see you. <laughs> I like that it's dark, it's fun. Golf cart alert. What's up, man? And a look behind us. It's so quiet out here. The golf cart. up on a bus stop. Hey, anyone thirsty? Coke machine. This is a uh, Buffalo Bend. Campsites 501 through 556. And I think we're, I think old Red's gonna go around the bend. Good job, Red. Uh-oh, truck coming up behind us. Thanks for the lighting truck, though. Truck mine is kind of light in the path. I'm gonna get to see more. Oh, those look fun. Can I play with those? And we're back out at the main road. We did a circle. And it doesn't go too fast, it goes very steady. We do only have one horsepower. One of the shower houses. So many nice campers in here. This one in the middle is a class B. Learned that from Chris the Girl. A little conversion van, basically. Mm -hmm. You got a fifth wheel. Travel trailer. Travel trailer, there you go. My mom sells RVs, so there you go, fun facts. There's our shadow there. Here 
Here we go, back into settlement. And we're back. You guys can just stay seated for me whilst I hook the red back up. That would be great. Okay, okay thank you. They're tying red up so we can become stable and get out of the cab. Okay, I recommend this. That was a ton of fun. And that was my first official tour of Fort Wilderness Campground. Thanks to Old Red here. Thank you very much. And Bob and Kathy and Chris the girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's one of the best Christmas gifts I've ever gotten. Yeah. Did you like it? I loved it. it was so peaceful. Great way to get a nice tour of the of the campground. Right. Yeah. I would come over here just like we did at the end of the day. You know, come over here and relax, get some food. But especially after you know a, a night at the park or a day at the park. Yeah. Yeah. Nice way to unwind. I like it. Rushing over to Bay Lake to see them fireworks at Magic Kingdom. It is 8:19. That took only 30 minutes. We started a bit early. There you go. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Ooh. Oh. comes the finale. Yeah. All right. Wow. Phew. New favorite spot alert. Definitely. Look at that. <laughs> Your battery. It's go. It's gonna go any second now. It's, it's been flashing blinking. for like the past five minutes. <laughs> It was a long show, and we did it all right here, beside the fence, and, the boat. and the boat, right there. That was fun. Yeah, <laughs> perfect way to end the evening. That's it. Why? Well, since you said it, thanks for watching, everyone. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe below if it was your first time. This is Chris the Girl. Also, check out her video, her experience as well. Subscribe to Chris the Girl. Check out her video. Uh, link in the description below. Thanks everyone for always joining us uh, for all the videos. Uh, it means so much to the both of us and this channel wouldn't be the same without you guys. Also again, thank you Bob and Kathy for the awesome present tonight. I loved it and uh, I can't wait to do this again. So thank you and thank you again. All right everyone, know you're awesome, know you're loved. No matter who you are, what you're going through, as always, watch your head. Now we gotta get back on the bus and go back to our car. Yep, and then drive back home. Here so. we come, Tampa. We both got to work tomorrow. Yep. I start my day at 6 a.m. and you start at 7. Yep. So. All right, we're going to edit this video and get it out. And that's what we do. We love it. All right. Bye bye. Bye. And there's the bus waiting for us. Look at that. <laughs>